Welcome to Tent Talk, the podcast with Nancy McCrady, where we talk about life under the big tent of God's presence and the provoking process of discipleship. Here we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Tent Talk. This is Nancy McCrady. Check out these few episodes entitled Fresh, because we need to make sure that though we are glad for the historic the significant, the important, the groundbreaking that has come to our lives and our history with God in the past, we want to make sure that we are staying with Him in the fresh, that which has uh, the future within it that is enterprising, that which has not been previously known or even used. We want to stay with God, living off every word that comes off of His mouth, Just like Jesus did, we need to be grateful for the history, but we must be with him in the fresh. So take a listen to these episodes entitled Fresh, and as always, I pray they will provoke you to go deeper with him. What can keep you from moving into the fresh with God? We spoke previously out of the scripture, Isaiah 43, 18 and 19, um, you know, don't dwell on the past. So the first two reasons that I'm going to give you for what can often keep you from moving into the fresh is number one is a love of the past. I think right now there are many people clinging to the past, their past power, their past prestige, uh, the past glory, uh, the past Uh, place of importance and significance, uh, a move of God that was previously groundbreaking. And too too many times we are wanting to go back to the past because those were our glory days. And many people, whether they realize it or not, they really do believe their best days are behind them. And this cannot be if we continue on with God. If we continue on with the Father, we know that the future uh, is what he's been getting us ready for uh, all this time. Everything in the past is getting you ready and developing you and conditioning you and getting you ready really for uh, probably the most significant days of your life and your fruit bearing for his glory are in your future. So if you find yourself in dread, if you find yourself in fear of letting go of your glory days or your glory position, right? Do you understand what I'm talking about? Then you're not going to move forward uh, with him. And unfortunately, that means that something other than him has become your identity, has become your significance, your value, uh, what gets you going. It's become life to you. But he is life to us. And we must Uh, continue on with him, whether he sets us aside or he uses us powerfully, whether we are hidden or we are seen, whether we're known or unknown. So this is where these things can uh, hinder us when we have an inordinate love of the past. Number two could be that we have a shame of the past and we can't imagine that we could be of any significance to God uh, in the future because surely we've disqualified ourselves. But if you've been with me for any length of time, you know uh, how much I promote that plan A is still on. God wrote a word over your life before the foundations of the world and he knew everything that was coming. You're the only one who remains shocked and maybe disillusioned about yourself. God is not shocked. He is not disillusioned. My friend, he would have had to have had hope in you to be disappointed in you. God's hope, if you will, is Christ in you, the hope of glory. So who you are as the creation that he made in Christ Uh, I assure you there is quite a future ahead for you in your uh, place of abiding with him. So are you letting shame of the past cause you to take a lesser route? You're going for plan B, C, D, E, F, maybe all the way to Z. Well, wake up, my friend. 
Uh, there is nothing in your past that will keep you out of your oneness with him. Now, I'm not talking about some dream that you had that you were trying to make come true. Uh, I'm talking about what he wrote over you uh, before the foundations of the world that he wanted with you, you and him. If you're still looking for some public significance, some public um, largeness, right, then that, my friends, may be part of the problem, is we've got to be uh, at the place where we are allowing him to become life to us. He is life. He is life in us, and he is life to us. If anything else means life to you, your name, your reputation, uh, family, um, and, and I'm not saying these things are not important, but if you'll notice with Jesus, since we're disciples of Jesus, we are following in his way, um, he wanted to make a reputation for the Father, not for himself. And because of that, the Father uh, gave him quite a reputation, a name above every name. <laughs> so we need to recognize that God doesn't help me have a stellar reputation. Uh, God isn't going to allow any human relationships, even those that are of him, to take precedence over him. So those are other podcast episodes maybe to talk about. So these two things I just wanted to focus in on. Um, I'm going to come back to another one in another episode. But what often keeps us from moving into the fresh with him is a love of the past or an inordinate shame of the past. So let me say that again. What keeps us from moving into the fresh is is an inordinate and out-of-order love of the past or an inordinate or out-of-order shame of the past. My friends, he said, do not dwell on the past. Do not stay there. Look, he says, see, I am doing a new thing. Where are you at with I am doing a new thing? It's him. All right, give these things some thought. Love you all. For more information on Nancy, please visit nancymccrady.com or follow her on social media at nbmccrady.com.